Not Required, the show where everyone's voice is heard. My name is Miss G, and I am here with our television production program here at McFadder Technical College and High School. Welcome to our set. I'm Gia. I'm Dayo. I'm Melvin. I'm Juan. So our topic for today is how does TikTok and viral fame affect mental health? So my question is, what do you guys think about this? Like, how does endless streams of media affect mental health? The way that the algorithm, like the TikTok algorithm is shown, how does that affect like your mental health with like endless amounts of like dopamine and stuff? I can't even, I, well, of course, being a Gen Z kid, I can't even know what it's like for like someone born in the 50s, what they did for fun as a teenager. But for us, our our medium of fun is just going on your phone and scrolling through social media. So that social media and all the al algorithms that are built to please us, that's just the norm for pleasure now. This is what's normal now. And I don't know what the kids in like 30 years are gonna have for entertainment, but for now, it doesn't seem like having this endless stream of content is very good for us. I mean, it's, it, it affects like the attention span of like, all our all all the people of our age like i think you said you talked about like it's ruining your attention span Dale, right? yeah like i cannot even like even like when with focusing like in class it's become like increasingly difficult and another thing with like social media it can be like easy to compare yourself to other people like the lives that you yeah, have like you compare your life to theirs and you yeah. think Oh, their life is better somehow. Yeah, they're having fun. They're at the beach. Meanwhile, I'm inside. It's like a bowl of chips next to me. I'm not having any fun. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I believe that, like, <clears throat> like, having that in the stream of content is definitely, like, not the best thing, especially because, like, it's different types of content. So, um, having that different type of content, you're able to see things that you don't particularly may want to see or you're forced to see. I mean, not necessarily forced, but it just pops up and you just see it. So like having that, having that stream and having that availability to you at like all times is kind of scary where like, you know, much information should be brought to you gradually, not just popped up in your face. You need to gradually get into that type of content and under, to fully understand and have reasoning upon it. But you know, with uh, social media today, everything's just pop, pop, pop right in front of your face to the point of like you can't even comprehend it at first. So you don't know if it's good or bad, especially towards the younger kids. They, they often think that what they're saying or what they're doing is not so bad. But like when an adult here, they're like, oh my God, what, the, what is this kid yes. saying? And like, yeah, so um, yeah, it could be, it could be bad sometimes. I feel like those are really valid points. And like also just like, like you said, with the attention span and stuff. And I know like even for me, I'm not that much older, but like I have such a hard time like really focusing like since I've been on TikTok, just because like there's like five to really 10 second videos every day, every second, like it's, it's a lot. And it's like, then you're expecting like instant gratification at like such a fast pace. I think that's like really unhealthy because it's so unrealistic, you know? Yeah. So let's go to our next question. How does instant fame affect the youth? Or like we said earlier, viral fame. How does viralness or um, like instant fame through likes or like posting something randomly and then like all of a sudden you have like thousands and thousands of people looking at your stuff like how does that affect like either this generation or generations even younger i think it's like probably really draining like having to have your whole life showcased to the internet and then having to wake up every day and worry about what everyone online is saying about your appearance, your appearance, or like your family, or like those around you, like that's kind of, it just seems like mentally draining, like I could, couldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, what's the word? Your, your self-esteem would like, I don't know, I think it'd just go down. Like you think these numbers, like, oh my God, I have to get higher likes and, and followers, but it just, it doesn't matter, you know? 
but this instant fame can really get get to the heads of these like instant famous TikTokers or whatever. Or like influencers. influencers. In I mean, to be fair, I don't. I think like 99% of people on social media, they aren't just posting to become famous or be relevant. They just post for the point of posting. I mean, I mean, most people when they tweet, it's probably like some of their friends and some random 42-year-old guy from Wisconsin or something. <laughs> True. Like it's not. No, no, no one thinks about fame until they're famous, and then it matters. That's a good point. I mean, yeah, but <clears throat> then there's like there, there's other groups of kids where it's like, oh. I see other people getting famous by doing this, by doing that, so they're gonna go, they're gonna go ahead and do that to, to get famous, and they see it as a quick route to, to get famous, so they, might, they may put like the other traditional routes, like you know, schooling, taking school, schooling and education um, seriously, they might put that to the side, and they might focus on that, which it depends on each situation, but you know, many, many people don't make it, and they may regret, like, not, taking the traditional route yeah, because like of how exactly mm -hmm. of how unstable social media can be so yeah. it's a like for example I think like these TikTok houses like the fact that that's a thing and like it's usually for people who are you know who are already famous and stuff like that but it's kind of like I wonder like I, I genuinely think about like are they in school like because I know they're under 18 and I know yeah. they're like teens. yeah like yeah. Where I'm, it's <laughs> it's not like they're completely independent once you become famous, right? Yeah. It, it's like I think about that stuff. I'm like, wow, like this has really affected like not only their daily lives but like their educational lives as well. Because like your high school experience is not going to be the same, like as far as you guys would have like people who were um, really like trying to maintain like financial status through social media. Not only is it like just kind of unstable. But it's also really hard, like, because that's like an all-day job. It's hard to be consistent and, like, post new content and, and actually try to get somewhere with it and keep it up. Your yeah. life becomes the content, really. Your yeah. life becomes the content, and you yourself become the brand. And imagine, yes. like, yeah. your whole entire job is what, other, what, is what other people think of you, like. Yeah. That's scary. Also, it can reach the point where people will, like, do or say anything to, like, reach that level of fame. Like, even, yeah. like, going, like, beyond what is, like, morally right. Because I think there was, like, this trend a while back where, like, kids were, like, setting themselves on fire. And there was also, like, the swallowing cinnamon one. Yeah. And, like, these trends, like, they come and they go. And, like, you're able to look back at it and be like, oh, that's ridiculous. That's stupid. I would never do that. But, like, at the time, it was, like, people were actually doing this. And it was, like, with the intent of, like, going viral, like, getting famous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, that's like crazy and kind of like scary to think about, you know, but let's go to our next question. What happens if and when TikTok dies out? The world is ending. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you. The world is ending. <laughs> it just might. I mean, TikTok isn't forever. It won't be here forever, but it something, if it dies out, something new might come along whether it's better or worse you know i don't know but hey look many people thought that tiktok tiktok was gonna die in like a couple months probably year max it still yeah. has like been I think very I thought relevant that, that it would die out but yeah, it's only so. bigger now it did die out for like a bit and then it like re like because remember it used to be like musically yeah with like the dance videos and then it kind of like rebranded itself to like yeah and like it seems exactly. kind of a bit like an Instagram and Vine mashup now. With like Instagram, you have like the stories, and with Vine, you have like the short, funny videos. Exactly. I mean, to be fair, when the platforms do change and some other zeitgeist comes and takes over, I mean, the only thing that's really going to change is the format. You know, with Tumblr, you had like a blog. With Twitter, you have other people's thoughts. With Instagram, you have only photos and videos. And now with TikTok, you have like entire videos that are just meant for content scrolling. So doesn't matter whatever's going to come up next as long as we're doing the same things on our phone sitting. That's a sad way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's factual. Um, I think that when TikTok dies out, because every app dies out, you know, everything is born in and everything can die. But it's just, um, I don't know, like, what the format will be. And I think that's the scary part. Like, I don't know, because 
one thing I can say, like TikTok definitely like does take a toll on your mental health because of like there it increases your screen time. Just like mm -hmm. you start scrolling for a couple of minutes, next thing you know you're there for like three hours. So it's like if that's like the newest format now, I wonder what's coming after and if it's gonna be as ten times as addictive as this one. So that's the stuff I think about. And when it dies out, I don't know. I, I guess do. we'll just be on to the next. I wonder what I'm gonna do with like all of my saved TikToks because I have like hundreds, <laughs> I have like hundreds of TikToks that I saved. So like I keep thinking like, what if one day they just decide, oh, it's not an app anymore. Like I just have a hundred saved TikToks that are just like gone forever. Yeah, but well, we're gonna enjoy it for right now, you yeah. know. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. And if you guys would like to continue watching more of our episodes, you can follow us. On our social medias, <laughs> follow us at McFadder TV, our Instagram, Twitter, and our TikTok, and our YouTube, and just keep up. We invite anyone onto our show to talk about any of the topics you and I and we find passionate about, so please, please, please feel the chance to reach out. Thank you so much. Be safe.